pretty warm and humid today in Sicily but I'm still able to give you an update on the new Adidas Adizero SL uh, the version 2 uh, so let's check it out Welcome back to the channel with a new video review of the Adi Zero SL version 2 after 100 miles. Uh, let's start as usual to check the condition of the hustle, then the missile and the hopper, and then I'll give you my conclusion about this new version. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps. Also now. Yeah, starting from the outside, uh, I haven't seen any big signs of wear either in the forefoot or in the heel. The material used is high quality and uh, it's not that stiff underneath your feet. It's still same condition as at the beginning. Uh, I had also the opportunity to test it out. In the conditions, uh, the grip is not the same as uh, in dry condition but I rested out on some gravel path and it's pretty good so probably thanks to the sign pattern so I have checked also if it collects the stones you know we have three holes they also to give the shoe more flexibility and uh, yeah I haven't seen any stones so apparently doesn't collect any stones during these days the Hetna erupted so you have a lot of volcanic dust and uh, despite that the grip is still good uh, so I would say no issue with the grip even after another mice works pretty well and I'm happy with it. Where did you go when I was down and I needed In my you opinion, here we got the answer. We have a good update and uh, except for the wet conditions which is a little bit slippery for the rest I'm very happy Whew. very humid and it's 6 a.m. in the morning so if you plan to come in Sicily during summer we are aware that it's a beautiful beautiful island but uh, it is pretty warm here and even during early morning, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., it's still pretty hot and humid. If you are a runner and you want to keep going, even in August, because you have a marathon in September, hmm, maybe it's not the ideal place for you during summer. But if you want to enjoy, yes, beautiful place. Midsole now. Yeah, talking about the midsole, you know, the missile is a combo of the uh, stiff light strike, but this one is the light strike 2.0. Uh, and then we have uh, all along the shoe, we have the light strike pro, which is softer and uh, it has been used in all the elite shoes, so very fancy with a really good response. Uh, so, this version it's much better than the previous one and still after 100 miles it's still comfortable there's still a good response uh, but of course guys it's not the same as to wear uh, an elite shoe you know the Adios Pro uh, 3 
So there is less cushioning gear and if you are a hill striker uh, even though the light strike throw uh, I would not suggest the issue even though it's better than the much better than the first version but still uh, you will not have the comfort that you're looking for if you are a hill striker so but uh, if you land in your forefoot then it's very good feeling underneath your feet and uh, yeah a great update from the first version uh, if you remember I got injured with the, the first version because it was very stiff in the forefoot and this is uh, not the case with the added zero itself version 2 uh, yeah during the miles it got even more comfortable you can check all the wrinkles in the heel so uh, it's get better after 50 miles already and uh, it's noticeable and uh, it's a pleasure like this sunshine today wow that's that's amazing and the area is just close to the city so you can just wake up and go to dream early in the morning maybe after your run you let's continue go? The mistral is uh, responsive. Uh, it's also good in terms of uh, uh, cushioning, as I said, but more responsive than comfortable. But overall, I would say the initial condition are still the same. So even after 100 miles, so it doesn't wear out pretty quickly like other comfortable uh, mistral, which is actually a big pro. Here we got the upper. Yeah, still, I confirm my first impression. Uh, it's pretty warm, and especially in these places, uh, you can feel it, and it's not comfortable. So I would suggest to wear light socks um, because, yeah, the mesh it, it doesn't look so breathable, and also collect a lot of dust. So. I mean, in this color, uh, I was in the gravel path, of course, that doesn't help, but uh, in this color, it's already getting dirty pretty soon. Uh, maybe also in the black color way. So such kind of run change your day, guys. <laughs> so don't be lazy. Wake up pretty early in the morning because you will see such kind of beautiful events during the day. Anyhow, the tank is wide, it is comfortable, but I believe it contributes to make the upper even less breathable because it's very thick, wide. I believe it's not needed uh, that much padding. Uh, so I don't like it. And uh, during these miles, uh, I also noticed that uh, it's difficult to wear this shoe. Don't, don't know, maybe the, are the laces or the lacing system, it, it's difficult sometimes to, to wear. And uh, it's a little bit annoying, especially during uh, early in the morning when I'm still sleeping. <laughs> I haven't seen any uh, signs of wear. It's just dirty, but uh, no signs of wear in the upper. Even when I used to somehow uh, we have more uh, probability to uh, wear out, so like in the forefoot uh, or on the side of the of the upper. But there are no signs of wear, and uh, it means it looks a solid upper. I didn't have any issue either in the heel or uh, in the forefoot. Uh, it's not that wide, uh, and uh, even after 100 miles, it's still the same uh, fit so it didn't change uh, 
and uh, I really appreciate it. What else about the upper? The laces, I confirm, they are not ideal for me because they are the smaller one and they are even too short in my opinion. The shoe lockdown is still okay. I didn't have any issue in the with the heel counter. So good foot lockdown and uh, also comfortable, which is great. The padding inside the uh, heel counter helps a lot. Uh, so very nice. And in conclusion, so overall, guys, what a better place uh, to tell you that overall, I like this shoe. It is a great update from the first version. I believe I will run at least at uh, 200 miles. Uh, it's a good companion, training companion. Uh, so if you have uh, elite shoes like uh, the Adios Pro, three or uh, similar uh, it's very good to train in this shoe because it trains very well your feet and then when you wear the Adios Pro 3 it's totally another story so you feel the difference and you are not used of it so during your race day you enjoy even more and uh, uh, your feet are more trained than the, to use the uh, elite shoes every day and uh, also the the price it's uh, it's better it's not 250 it's just 130 and i believe uh in the next weeks probably there will be some discount out there so i prefer this kind of shoes for training uh, uh for this reason you can train your uh, feet much better they are less expensive uh, so more accessible and uh, you can change more often so you are on the safe side and uh, yeah they are still working uh, for slow running for tempo run i believe you can also do some interval training so i did it and it's not that bad but of course i prefer it for tempo run and for uh, slow running and yeah guys this is it here from sicily from Syracuse. I wish you uh, a nice rest of the summer wearing new shoes like the new version of the Adios uh, Pro um, but uh, for sure I will uh, test some new shoes uh, and uh, I will let you know so from Syracuse from Sicily thank you for watching uh, don't forget to leave a like to subscribe if you haven't yet in order to support the channel and my work until the next time, keep running. <coughs> Ciao. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say I